That workout class took everything out of me. I feel so drained, but it was such a good workout. Um, basically, I exhausted all of my energy in the first like 10 minutes of class because it was the one mile benchmark day. So basically how fast you could run a mile in and I was like, I need to hit a record today for myself. So I ran a mile in six minutes and 42 seconds, which is unheard of for me. So I'm proud of myself for that, but I'm feeling quite tired and I'm gonna go home and make some breakfast and just like freshen up for the day. I don't really have too much going on today. I basically just have to run a couple of errands and then pack because I'm going to Tampa with some of my friends this weekend and we're leaving tonight so I need to pack for that. And then also I need to do a little bit of editing and stuff just so I have all of my work done before heading out of town so it's like a four hour drive and we're leaving at like 6 30 and I'm really excited so that'll be a fun weekend I'm not gonna vlog the weekend but I'll vlog like today and stuff just made my iced coffee this morning and I'm all freshened up. I threw on this super cozy like Sherpa jacket that I got from Urban Outfitters. I don't know why I'm like so cold this morning but I just wanted to be warm and cozy because I'm gonna head upstairs and do some work, get some editing done and stuff for probably like an hour or two before I head out and run some errands for the day. little update obviously I'm out and about right now I'm just gonna run some errands I stopped at Sephora first because it's like Sephora Target then Home Goods so I'm gonna stop here and there's a couple things that I've been eyeing up so I want to see if they have them I feel like nowadays when people talk about a product it goes viral instantly and is just like sold out everywhere so hopefully that's not the case and I can find what I'm looking for also might just do a little bit of browsing as well because I do want to get a new blush and also a new lip liner I think so I'm gonna go hop in there and see what I can find just finished up running errands and I want to show you guys what I got from Home Goods and Sephora because at Target I just got a bunch of like random stuff. I literally went there because I needed deodorant but at Sephora I picked up a couple new goodies. I wanted I went in there because I wanted to get the Rare Beauty blush but they didn't have like the samples out and so I didn't want to like open every single color in the packaging and try it out so I decided to go with this blush because it's so creamy. It's the Sandy Cheeks blush from Melt Cosmetics. And I got this like really pretty 
kind of like apricot color. I figured this would look really good for like a warm kind of makeup look. So I'm excited to try that out. I love um, like cream blushes like this. And then I also got the, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Jor Bloom Bronze and Glow Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. I haven't heard anybody talk about this, but I have a feeling this is about to be like the next freaking Charlotte Tilbury sellout thing. Like, this is so nice. It's a bronzer and blush stick. So on one end, there's, er, bronzer and highlighter, I mean. I think I kept saying blush, but there's the bronzer on that end and then the highlighter right over here. So I'll keep you guys updated about how I like this little concoction. And then I just got the Ordinary Niacinamide um, facial oil. And then lastly, I got this Tower lip gloss. I really like their lip glosses. And this one is just like a really pretty, kind of like nudie peachy pink. And I thought that would be a perfect kind of nude lip. I love um, soft like pink lip glosses like this. So those are my little Sephora finds. And then, oh my God, my camera battery is flashing. Shoot. But basically at Home Goods, I just got two candles. I got this guava tangerine candle. It smells so good. It just smells like a fresh, nice kitchen. And then I got another candle and this is citrus lavender. It smells so good as well. I just wanted like nice white sleek candles so that I can put them on the candlesticks in my kitchen and complete the look because the candles that I had before finished up. So that's the little haul. I'm gonna head back to my apartment now and probably start packing a bag for heading to Tampa because we leave in like three hours. So I need to figure out like my outfits and all that stuff. Can't even believe I'm about to show you guys this, but this is the reality of my apartment right now. It's a complete disaster. I have clothes hanging everywhere, drying, and then my room <laughs> is terrible. I have clothes everywhere because the other day I took some Instagram photos and just did not pick up after myself. Didn't even make my bed this morning. And my closet is a whole nother mess. This is terrible, like chaos. <laughs> Complete and utter chaos. Um, so I'm gonna spend about like 45 minutes or so just picking everything up, organizing the place because obviously I'm heading out of town. I'm just gone for the weekend, but still I feel like when my apartment feels a mess and looks a mess, I just feel so chaotic in my head. So I need to clean up my space. This is the reality of it. This is what you guys don't see typically in the vlogs, but this is just how this week has been. It's been crazy. So we're gonna clean it all up and then relax. Let's do it. finished up cleaning my apartment and it just feels so much better I needed to just put all of my shit away and get it I, don't, I guess it's not organized I feel like I just put everything away I definitely need to do like a deep organization soon 
I just did a deep clean like the other day, but I feel like I need to deeply organize my bathroom. That is like chaotic right now. Like the drawers and the makeup and the skincare, it's just a lot. So anyways, I wanted to do a little haul for you guys because I recently picked up some things from Aritzia and then Gymshark and a couple of the Aritzia things came in. So I figured I would just do a quick mini haul. If you guys want to like seeing the hauls like in vlogs or if you prefer seeing sit down collective hauls or something, definitely let me know what you guys prefer because I used to do hauls more often like when I would sit down and show you guys all the clothes, try them all on. But lately I've just been like throwing them into vlogs. So let me know what you prefer. Um, but I guess I'll just start off with the things that I got from Maritzia. I really, oh no. Looks like this got stained. Maybe it's just dirt. We'll have to figure that out. But first things first, I got this Babaton contour top and I love Babaton sculpt tanks, their contour tops. Like I tell everybody about them because they're the most flattering and comfortable tops ever. They're definitely like a staple. Love this. But then I of course had to pick it up again in this green color. This was actually on sale and I love, love, love the color green, especially with like leather pants or under a leather blazer and wearing it with some like light wash jeans. I have such a look for this top and I cannot wait to style it. And also the material is just like so dang soft. Cannot get over it. And then another one of the Babaton contour pieces I picked up was just this cropped long sleeve. Again, a very nice staple to have. I love the color brown lately. I feel like I have lots of browns in my closet because I love to pair them under leather coats or that kind of thing, especially like going out in Florida. Wearing just something simple like this with some jeans is a really cute type of look and then throwing some accessories with it. Um, and then I got a basic black little tee. This is just the TNA or it's black tee. Just a very simple cotton tee, but I will wear this with literally everything. So I picked that up and then I also picked up this TNA, I think it's called Ascot Tank. It has this kind of like athleisure material to it. I'll show you guys the tag, but it just looks like that. Um, I got it in an extra small because I wanted it to be a little more like fitted and tight. I feel like you could wear this honestly to like a yoga class or something, but I figured this would be perfect under just like a zip up hoodie or to wear with joggers, leggings, all that kind of stuff. Because honestly, I basically wear athleisure like all the time. If I'm not like going out to dinner with friends or going out, whatever, I swear half the time I'm in like leggings or joggers or biker shorts, something of that sort. Next up, I just got cute little beanie. I love this. It's just like a simple, nice little beanie. And honestly, you're probably like, why would you get that? You live in Florida. But I'm also heading home to Minnesota in like less than a week, so I'm definitely gonna bring this with me. But also, Florida has been so cold. I don't know where that came from. It was actually 40 degrees the other day until like 11 a.m. And I was like, if only I had a little beanie right now. And I've seen a lot of people actually wear like puffer coats, which kind of shocked me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's not like weird to wear a beanie around here. And plus this is very like lightweight. And I love the look of like beanies and a little like blazer or something. It's such a nice winter slash fall kind of look. I mean, it's way far past fall time, but you know what I mean? And then that is everything I got from Aritzia. And then I picked up some things from Gymshark. I got these leggings, which I really haven't tried many of Gymshark's leggings. I only tried like the Whitney Simmons ones, which I absolutely love. I don't even know if they sell those anymore, but they're one of my favorite pairs of leggings. They're great, amazing. And so I got these ones. I don't know what the name of them is. I don't know, but I'll link everything down below for you guys if I can find them. But it's this like really pretty dark forest green color and they're so, so soft. I love the material of these. And then I got this sports bra to match it and I am obsessed with this set. I just like the two-tone green type of look. I think it's super fun and cute. And then I just got two basic um, little tees to wear because they were having like a huge warehouse sale. And I wanted just like a big cozy tee, so I got this white one. 
that just says Gymshark on it. And then I got this cropped black tee that says Gymshark across the bottom. And I figured this would look really cute with like little shorts or something or biker shorts for working out. And then last but not least, I got just a plain pair of black shorts. Definitely will need to wear spandex under these because you can kind of see they're a little bit see-through, but I love just wearing athletic shorts hanging around or honestly, I've been wearing these a lot to Orange Theory recently because it gets so dang hot in the studio and unless I don't want to sweat my face off, I have to wear shorts or biker shorts or something. So I've been working out in shorts for a change, which I honestly really like. So that's the little haul for you guys, um, but I'm probably going to just hang out for a little bit right now. We're going to head out to Tampa in about like an hour and a half. I'm going to relax for a little bit before we head on out and I'm going to read a little bit of the book and then have some of this poppy drink. These are so good. They're like a gut probiotic type drink. They don't taste too shabby. I really like them. Oh, I don't think I've had the watermelon flavor. So good. I'm just about to head out in like three seconds here, but I wanted to end off this vlog for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and definitely make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that stuff to stay updated. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.